Hi everyone, this is Dango. In this video, we are going to talk about how to use and how to build Resolia in Langrisser model. Resolia is actually a very very interesting and a strong character. Uh, she has a very very mediocre talent. I mean, talent is not bad, it's just an increased attack defense and then you have some increase in damage tilt and the reduction in damage received. So it's a very uh, standard talent for SSR unit, nothing special. But uh, she is very strong because she has a very special skill, a, a one cost skill, which is Sword of Protection. So this is an act against skill and it's a regional effect skill. So she has two act against skill, Shavri, uh, which allows her to move another Swiss spot after using the skill, and the Sword of Protection skill, which allows her to travel another Swiss spot. So this makes Rosalia having one of, like, one of the uh, highest mobility character in this game basically. Uh, she can travel 11 spots without having any mobility buff. This is really really strong. And uh, one of the reasons she can be fitted in any of the rush box. But she is not limited to rush box just because this uh, sword of protection also provides a regional effect. So basically after use that skill, uh, all the friendly units within 2 spots they will get 10% increase in the stats. And then after they initiate bat uh, the battle, they will heal 20% of the health points that they, uh, they will receive 20% of the damage they dealt. So this is actually a very very strong um, like effect uh, for tank push strategy. Um, and uh, with the combination of the chivalry and that sword of protection skill, uh, and also the suicide skill also provide the um, sword of protection effect. So with all the three skill together, Rizolia never have trouble to to provide this um, buff to the team. So yeah, this makes Rizolia very very sustainable in long term fights, uh, making them a very very like making her a very very top level choice for a tank for a tank push strategy. Yeah, so this is why she's very strong. And then uh, I'm going to show some clips on. Uh, how to use Rizolia in different box at the end of this video. So if you want to see how Chinese player used her in the uh, Season 5 playoff, uh, Season 5 Apex Arena playoff, um, please uh, check the clips later. So for the class, I really just recommend the Holy class for her. Uh, it's just because the Cavalry class is just get countered by a lot. Uh, and especially if you have other Cavalry units, uh, in your box, then if you pick them, they are really are going to pick like Lancer troops or Lancer characters. So yeah, you should you should at least uh, use Rizalia as a holy unit here. Um, the troops here, as I said earlier, if you really want to kill Juggler, then Heaven's Guard could be could be a good choice. But uh, yeah, Heaven's Guard is just uh, you know countered by Lancers, so. Mm, if you are not sure if your opponent is going to bring Lancer units, uh, Graphic Knight is always pretty good choice for her. And uh, yeah, and also you can use Holy Pax. Um, yeah, to be honest, I think for her because she can always heal after combat, um, Graphic Knight is better than Holy Pax. And then for the gears, uh, I really don't like the. Uh, formal enchant just because Rizalia already have very very high attack to begin with. The Chivalry provides like 10% extra attack and then the Talent provides her 20% extra attack at 6 star and then there is this uh, there is this sword, this sword skill provides another 10% attack. So she has a lot of attack to begin with. Uh, further increasing attack doesn't really really do much. So I don't really like Full Moon, same reason, I don't like Rough Sea. So the two enchant you can use for her is gonna be either Breeds or you can use Meteor. So the Meteor Rizalia is to try to kill Juggler. Um, but still Rizalia, I mean the conditions for Rizalia to kill Juggler isn't super easy to get. So, right? You have to have Attack Blessing or you have to have Aries Burst. If you don't have those, uh, it is actually not reliable for Rizalia to kill the juggler. Um, and also, single target strategy focusing on kill juggler uh, and just uh, get rid of her t like team effect isn't the best way to use her. Uh, after the release of like uh, the uh, Albedo from the Overlord, 
then you really cannot one shot any tank. So instead of just trying to kill the tank with one shots, uh, trying to let Resolia have more threatening range uh, with the breeze enchant and also increase the damage by a little bit uh, just uh, seems better. So I'm going to recommend Resolia as the breeze build. You can try to build Metro and try to make the killing juggler your only like goal, but it's not going to work that well, especially it is not going to work in playoff. We have seen so many single target strategy failed, you know, they just try to kill juggler and uh, when you don't have all the conditions, when you don't have the perfect RNG, it can just uh, fail you. So yeah, I don't really enjoy Meteor Enchant, but you can use her, uh, you can use in uh, Meteor Enchant on her if you just want to kill juggler. I really really recommend Breeze on her. So the two gear that I recommend, the two weapon that I recommend, it's gonna be Seal Gardarian or the um, like Mendrors, Mendrors, yeah, this this hammer here. So this hammer here, the good thing is that you can have 50% chance to dispel one buff from the opponent. Uh, I mean, I think this is 100%, right? At uh, level, at max level. So if you can dispel one buff from your opponent, sometimes if you dispel the guard buff then uh, it is going to be very nice, right? You are going to, uh, you, like, you can, like, your opponent lose the guard effect, and then you can snap the rest of the character with your other characters. So this is pretty good, and uh, uh, if you kill Juggler, let's say, if you dispel the water from the Juggler, then even Rosalia didn't kill Juggler, it increased the chance of other characters to kill the Juggler. So, yeah, Mendro is kind of an RNG, uh, weapon, but you can always try to see if you have the perfect RNG here. So Seal Gardarian is definitely the other choice if you just want her to, if you just want to use her in a sustainable way. So this is pretty pretty good. And uh, the armor, uh, so you can use actually uh, Anya's armor because she has a lot of healing. Uh, increase the received heal effect is always a good choice. Um, the other armor I would really recommend is uh, this one. And use battle armor. To be honest, it also depends on if you already have like other armors um, with like perfect enchant, like uh, this one, G and Resolve. If you have those armors with perfect enchant, you can use that as well. I don't think armor is super super essential, but yeah, I think uh, Annie's armor is pretty good. Uh, I mean, this one to reduce to have 30% chance to reduce the range attack is pretty good, and uh, yeah, yeah, those those are all pretty good. Uh, you can use Giant to resolve as well. If you have a perfect enchant uh, with the blood, Bloodland Magic Armor, you can also use that. So this is about the armor. So the headgear choice depends a lot on how you're going to play this character. Uh, if you want to play this character in a rush box and uh, you really really want to burst the juggler, then uh, this Tails head, like Free of Tarot, is probably the best choice. Uh, you can use the uh, the meter enchant with that, it works very very it works very very well. Uh, or you can try to use the Tanyu's headgear right for the tank push strategy. Uh, as I mentioned, she provides a very very strong team effect. You don't necessarily use her to trade with your opponent. You can use her to push slowly and uh, you know you can always generate a beneficial buff to your characters with Tanyu's height. Uh, the other gear you can actually use is Soul Stealer. <laughs> she is one of the characters in this game. Uh, in this game, that can act again two chain, two two times in one turn. So basically, at maximum, you have three chance to silence your opponent. You can either try to silence like the healer of your opponent. Now healers they don't really use like uh, silence immune gear like accessory. Uh, on them, right? If they are using Teddy Bear, they are not going to have the immune to silence, so that's pretty good. Uh, you can also silence the aggressive character that is going to release uh, to use a skill uh, very soon. For example, Lian Heart or Rian, you can, uh, I mean, Rian, you usually use Bracer, so you cannot silence him. But if you, yeah, but Lian Heart is going to be a perfect example. Yeah, if if your opponent teleport up your uh, his Lian Heart, and then, yeah, trying to use Resolia to silence Leonhardt 
is going to have so good chance to silence that. So yeah, that's pretty good. And then um, uh, for the accessory, for the accessory, I think the wind shun guard is pretty good. You can also try to use the um, judgment tailspan to increase your ability to kill the off guard like holy unit like Yusuke. And uh, you can also use Slayer's Emblem, uh, just uh, some uh, gear with the health point and also the attack. Pretty standard for, yeah, for this kind of character. Yeah, so you can use uh, Judgment Talesman, you can use the Wind Shin Guard to increase her ability to... I mean, if you're using Wind Shin Guard, you probably use the armor that can have 30% chance to reduce the range attack, so you increase her mobility to tank some assassin attack. Uh, Wind Shin Guard is pretty good, um, Judgment Tales Band pretty good, uh, Slayer Emblem pretty good as well. So those are the choice for her. Yeah, so and now I'm going to show some of the clips on how Rizolia is performed in Apex Arena in Season 5 uh, playoff. Yeah. So this is the match where I see uh, you can use Rizolia to stop uh, your opponent from being aggressive. So here we have a Leonhardt and we have a Iris that is going to be a threat to the first player. So let's see how Rizolia performs here. So Rizolia comes in. This is a Breeze build, she, so she got extra mobility. So the first move uh, silence this Leonhardt. The second move silence this Iris. Yeah. And then the, there is a third move. So even you said like this Iris is not silenced the last move. The last move here uh, could not, may not be to hit the land use. Instead, she may just stay there and try another chance to silence this Iris. Yeah. So uh, this player, second player here, can only move back Iris, and uh, he actually missed the best chance to combat with his Iris. Okay, and Leon had almost uh, getting killed, and he's still silenced. Okay, so opponent needs to retreat here. Yeah, so basically, um, yeah, those characters just uh, missed their best chance to jump in. So this is the first way to use uh, Rizolia, very very strong. The other example is going to be using Rizolia in tank push strategy. So we can see here, uh, you know, everything is stacked uh, into the middle, and uh, Rizolia is just uh, making a lot of sword here. Yeah, and as I said, Rizolia always have very very high attack. Just because her talent and also the sword that she puts, yeah, Rizolia just never have trouble putting the sword. Just because you know you have so many skills that you can act again, and those act again will actually essentially reduce the cooldown of the other skill. So yeah, uh, this just makes tank push really really strong. So sadly, the first player here actually lost his game. Uh, it's just because uh, oh, Rian. Green is just uh, so strong uh, before season six, before the uh, the come of like result sale. Yeah, it's just the uh, ring is just uh, so strong. But still, first the player just because of the Rizolia, I mean this is already a four versus five match. Just because Rizolia, uh, he actually extended the battle to very very long time. Yeah, yeah, and he almost made it, but still, I mean this is still like four versus five, so. He didn't win this match, but still, we can see from this match here, uh, Rizolia is just uh, very, very strong in this kind of tank push game. 